Hello, so in this video, I'm going to take a KML and bring it into Google Earth Engine. And so for those of y'all who don't have a Google Earth Engine account, uh, you're going to have to go and sign up. So if you go to Google Earth Engine uh, page, you can always request an account here. And so just go here and click sign up. And, and once you get signed up, there's the code editor. And that's what we're going to be using today. And that's what this is here is the code editor at code.earthengine.google.com. Once you're here, um, we're going to want to add in some data. And one of the first data sets we wanted that we could think about adding in is a KML. And so to add a KML, it's a little bit tricky, um, is that you have to use first uh, uh, turn into a, a fusion table. And so uh, to show this, I'm going to take this KML here for cat uh, the cartographic boundaries uh, from the census. And I'm going to go ahead and download the Florida one. I already went ahead and downloaded that and extracted it. And this is what I got. And it's just a Google Earth file, KML file here. And uh, once you have that KML file, you're going to want to go to Fusion Tables. And so Fusion Tables is the way that you're going to get into um, Google Earth Engine. And so if you go to Fusion Tables, if you just Google it, um, you'll get this uh, support document. Or you can go into the Google Drive app and uh, open it from there. Um, it is an experimental app in Google Drive, um, but <clears throat> once you start it off, it's gonna, it's gonna, once you hit click create, it's uh, pretty interesting and it's kind of a little bit self explanatory in some ways. Um, but what you have to do here is, um, is choose a file from this computer. Uh, one thing that's cool is that the keyhole markup language you can see here is supported in fusion tables and so if I go and click choose a file and I just go to my downloads and I have that um, KML here that I had so I'm going to go ahead and open that and uh, once I have that opened here I go ahead and hit next and the wizard's going to figure out what's going on And it's going to preview the table here and uh, ask you which uh, name, the column names, rows are in. It's in, it's in row one for us with this uh, with this KML. And you can see here the geometry. That's where we're getting that um, information. And so we have to name the table. Uh, and so we go ahead and let, leave all these defaults. It's fine. And then we finish. And that's going to add into our Google Drive as a fusion table. Uh, once you have that added, you'll see here you have some stuff like you know the description, um, you have FIPS codes and all the stuff that the census likes, and then you have the geometry. Um, that's that's the really important part. And if you look here under geometry, it has here information as location, which is great. Uh, one thing that could cause a little bit of problems is if you don't have just geometry set as location. Um, and if you have other places as locations as well, it can cause some issues. So like, for example, under name, you can see that it's also says location. Um, if I change that over to text, that's going to save me a lot of problems. And I can go through and also just like make sure that the other ones aren't set to locations. But uh, I think names the only one that I found that is set to location. So you just want to make sure that all your columns, there's only one column set as location. This is something that you could set in Google Earth Engine with code, um, but it's better if you don't have to deal with that. Um, and then after you're done with that, you're going to want to make sure that you share this. And so uh, we want to click on share. And once you have the sharing, you need to set it as anyone can access it. So you want um, anyone with a link uh, is good enough for it to work. Uh, but if you really want to put it on the public, but um, you know, why even you know why have people just find your stuff through search engines so go ahead and put anyone with a link and that's going to uh, allow you to access it from google earth engine and so i'm going to save and so the thing that's really important is that you copy the um the document id and you can see the document id by looking here in the url and so if you look between where it says doc ID equal sign before the pound sign, um, you want to go ahead and copy that information. That is the doc ID that you're going to use later while you're coding in JavaScript uh, in Google Earth Engine. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And so I just did a, 
uh, Command C or Control C to get that. And then I'm going to move over to Google Earth Engine. So now I have my Fusion table. It's saved on Google uh, Drive. I you know brought in that KML. I checked the geometry and made sure that I only had one column says locations. And so then I'm good to go. I'm ready for scripting now. And so I'm going to go over to the code.earthengine.google.com. And that's going to be the, the scripting environment where you can script for Google Earth Engine. Okay, and so the script's pretty easy. Um, the one that you're going to use to import in uh, f from, um, from KML. Uh, you have to do it through a, a feature collection. Uh, a feature collection and uh, so what I'm going to do is that uh, first thing I'm going to do is declare a variable as um, cities and I'm just going to name it cities because uh, that's what I am trying to map and then I'm going to use uh, the earth engine method called um, feature uh, collection and I can find out more about feature collection by looking of course by the docs here and uh, if I look here at feature collection um, features and then I should find feature collection there we go um, and so I want to do feature collection let's see why is this jumping around on me <laughs> oh there we go feature collection I can see here some information about it and so basically it's a string argument that they're looking for and that we need to uh, it put in a number, um, and that number is going to be for ID of a fusion table. And so what we have here is um, the method, and then in the method, I'm going to say uh, fusion table, and then that doc ID that I had. I'm just going to paste that in, okay? And then so that right there is going to go to the internet and find my fusion table and uh, import it in and store it into cities. Now it's important for me to go and add the cities uh, variable to uh, to the map underneath it and to, so I actually can display it. So I'm going to go to map dot um, add layer and I'm going to do that with the uh, cities uh, variable and uh, I'm going to leave the um, the next uh, argument uh, blank and then I'm going to just name it Florida since um, that's what I'm mapping and go ahead and add that semicolon at the end of that and so when I go ahead and hit run so this should uh, pull in the uh, KML file so you can see here the KML now has been brought into the uh, into Earth Engine um, you know, there's some things I can do with the symbolization with the maps dot add layer. And again, I can look in here into the docs and uh, check that out to see um, what kind of visual parameters um, I can do. And so, for example, like they have here uh, options for uh, colors uh, so we can add in a color. And you can see here that we have visual parameters that we can add in. For example, to change the color from this default gray. And to find out more information about how that should fill in, right now you can see I'm have, leaving it blank. Um, I can go to the Google Earth API documentation. And here you can see, for example, uh, if I want to add in color, I can s just write the word color with a colon. And then I can give the, um, the hex value for the color. Or I can use some even just words uh, like red, green, um, and so forth from from color style sheets that already exist and so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna um, go here and uh, type in color and then the colon and then let's try out um, red and see if this works and so Look at that, it became red now. And these are the same, uh, this, this is actually just setting the values uh, for it. So I can even go here and I can try it. Let's try out green. Let's try something else. 
Nice. And so now you see I'm bringing that layer and visualizing it in different ways. And so that's how you bring in a KML into Google Earth Engine. So just remember, you have to first uh, take your KML file, uh, download, uh, uh, upload it into a fusion table. Once you're in a fusion table, make sure all the um, locations are only set to geometry and make sure the rest of the columns don't have any locations set. Remember, you change that by just going into change here and make sure that those are set to either not to location that that way it only picks up on the location then you go to code uh, declare a variable and bring it in with the feature collection method uh, and then you want to do that with the fusion table um, doc ID remember you get the fusion table doc ID from the URL uh, you just copy that there and then uh, if you look at the share you want to make sure that you have that set to anyone uh, can view that's really important once you do that uh, have that declared and then you just add it in like any other uh, layer you would add into a map uh, and in this case I went ahead and added this visual parameter of green to make it look pretty cool uh, once you do all that um, you always have the ability to uh, say get link and then you're gonna get this link for the code itself I'm gonna go ahead and uh, save this and I'm gonna call it um, KML add uh, and I'm going to put that into and then so anyways uh, once I say uh, get link I'm going to include this link into the um, description for the video so this way you can find the code yourself